Grade 7 math number 3.6c, rational numbers converted to solve a word problem. So sometimes a single problem may have rational numbers that are in two or more forms. As we said in the last video, it could have fractions, decimals, and percentages, and we might have to convert them to one another in order to solve the problem. So just remember how we convert fractions, decimals, and percentages. I don't know if you remember, but 15% is equal to 15 one hundredths or 0.15. 0.5% means a half a percent. We would have to multiply the numerator and denominator by a 10 to get rid of that decimal point, and it would come out to 0 0.005 as a decimal. And 5% is just 5 one hundredths, okay? So we're going to do a word problem that has several steps to it, okay? Two years ago, Lisa bought a house for $150,000, and each year the value of the house increased by 3.8%. And what is the value of our house after two years? So we think we need to convert that 3.8% to a decimal first because we're going to have to multiply it to that 150, 150,000, okay? So 3.8%, we move the decimal place two spots over, two places to the left to remove that percentage sign. And it's going to become 0 0.038. And because we had nothing there, it was an empty spot, we put a zero there as a placeholder. So... Now, we need to multiply the $150,000 by the 0 .038 to find the percent increase for the first year. And we do. We do it by hand. Now, you could do it by calculator, but I prefer if you do some of these by hand, at least, if not all. It's going to help you learn to think, and you're going to get better at doing multiplication. You're going to be quicker. You're going to think on your feet more. Instead of taking the lazy way and using a calculator, I really, really do not like calculators when we're doing stuff like this. So you can try to do it. So we multiplied the 150,000 by the 0 .038, and after multiplying each place value, came up with 5,700. There were three hops in the equation, so we put three hops for the decimal in the product. We add this to the original value, and her new value after the first year is 155700 So her house increased, see, by $5,700. So now this is her new value. Now, we need to multiply this again by the 0 .038. We don't do it to the 150. That was the old value. We have to find out what a 3.8% increase is on the new value. So we have to multiply this number by the 0 .038. And we do. And we do each place value, and there's three hops in the equation, so we put three hops into the answer. And we see that this zero is not necessary because we're talking about money, right? So we have $5,916.60 that we can add to the one-year value. And that'll give us the two-year value. So now the second-year value is $161,616.60. Now, for real estate values, they'd probably just round this off to 161.6 or something like that. But we could continue to find the third year value, a fourth year, if we just keep doing this and multiplying the new value by the 0 .038, if that's what the percentage increase is staying at. And just take the problem one little step at a time, and we solve the problem. See? So don't let long problems make you fret. It's no big deal. Just chip away at it. One little step at a time and you'll be fine, okay? I'll see you next video. I hope this was helpful, and we're going to keep going. Bye.